Hello everyone. Sometimes we have a, a little problem uh, when we have some images like um, when writing a paper or thesis or something. Um, we have extra white background on their sides. Let's have a look on these images for example. Uh, these are uh, PNG images and you see that they have this extra white background uh, on the sides and uh, which can cause different uh, troubles for you. Let's have a look how, how it can be problematic. For example, I want to put these different figures together to make a figure for a manuscript. So I have put one here which has extra white background till here and then if I put another picture, I want to put it together with uh, that one. Let me just uh, zoom out, resize it and I want to put it right next to this one. But you see that it's extra white background covers the other picture if I just move it too close to it. So in that case, if, for example, if I have too many pictures to play with, cropping with the Microsoft PowerPoint, that becomes really a hectic task. So there is a tool which can uh, crop this extra white area um, for you in just within less than a minute from all your pictures. And that is very useful and very handy for people writing a thesis or um, a research article or, or for any other reason. So uh, let's have a look. We can do this with Adobe Photoshop, but um, I didn't find that quite useful because uh, uh, these all pictures are have different sizes and they are not exactly the same. So Photoshop cropped them from the uh, wrong sides. So we have a free tool. If you go to Google and uh, the name of this free tool is XN View. You can just call it download XN View from File Hippo. That's a free website and you can just download it from File Hippo. From here you can download the latest version. I just downloaded it and I'll use that one. So if I open the downloaded file, um, you can select the language, whatever you want. I'll use English and then I have to definitely accept the license agreement. If you want, you can just have a read through. It's a free software and uh, install it. So here are different plugins, which it is asking you um, what plugins do you want? So I just don't want this one. Other ones are fine. I click next, next, um, a desktop icon would be useful. Next install. So, yeah, we have installed the XN view and I can just run it directly from here. When I click finish, um, it will ask me a little bit about the configuration. So um, I, I'm using a single user system. I don't want its uh, initial file to be put in the documents and settings. So I'll just use it on my own user. I'll just uh, select this setting. Otherwise, you can leave everything to default and just uh, click OK. Uh, if you click OK, you'll have the um, XN view open here. Now, uh, how to resize the images will come to that. Um, first, we have to select the desired files. Um, if you go to the desktop, I have the pictures right here. Uh, here are all those pictures uh, which, uh, which I showed you in this folder. So I want to crop their white area, white extra white background. Uh, what I need to do is um, I need to go to tools and then I need to go to batch processing, this option. When I go here, I need to select the input. Um, I can add the whole folder from this button and I can just tell that my pictures are right here. So it has detected all the pictures over there. So, and uh, I, I might want to make a, a new folder where I want to put my cropped pictures because I don't want to override these ones. So it's better to create a new folder with the name whatever you want. I put it crop pictures. So now I'll select for output 
the directory will be cropped pictures pictures crop pictures okay so it will take all these images and uh, do whatever I want I will tell it to do and then save the output to these uh, crop pictures and uh, format definitely I want to keep the JPEG um, and uh, you can you can keep um, the PNG if you want these images were in the PNG um, so let's let's put it put them in the PNG and then uh, you need to select this tab transformations on transformations you have to tell it what do you want to do with the images there are many other things you can do but at the moment our man focuses on the crop so we have a very nice auto crop feature uh, which we want to add so this is added now to the uh, features list which we are going to perform and in the parameters uh, you need to tell it the background color because at the moment it's black so my background here is white I will tell it by clicking this and just select the white color click OK so now the background color is selected as white it will detect that and crop the uh, extra background from the uh, sides so now we are all good to go we just need to click go and it will start working so if I click go you see it's working and uh, it has taken almost five six seven eight less than 10 seconds and we have this crop pictures folder ready so now you can see that every picture has um, extra white background cropped in a very nice way because you can also see that these pictures were different um, and they were covering different sizes on the screen and still they are uh, they have been cropped very nicely and uh, beautifully from the uh, edges so this this tool can be used for many other functions I hope that uh, this will save a lot of time for you in uh, these kind of stuff while making figures for manuscripts and other things uh, if you have liked this video then uh, you're welcome to subscribe my channel to keep you updated for the future videos and if you have any question or any suggestion for me to make a video on you can just uh, put that in the comment section um, and uh, I'll reply to that and uh, I'll try my best to uh, make a video on that topic as well. So I wish you best of luck and bye bye. See you later.